European green crabs are an invasive crab species on both coasts of North America, South Africa, Brazil, and Australia. They were introduced first to the East Coast in the early 1800s through the ballast water of incoming ships and other commercial activities. Green crabs prefer to live in shallow, protected areas like eelgrass beds. Eelgrass is a species of seagrass that we find off of Nantucket Island as well as throughout coastal New England. It is a type of seagrass that is submerged aquatic vegetation and is also a flowering plant. Eelgrass spreads via seed production and also rhizomatously. It is an extremely important nursery habitat for all of the marine organisms that live there. It provides habitat for juvenile finfish as well as all kinds of shellfish and crabs. It is home to Nantucket's Bay Scallop, which is a very important fishery out here at Nantucket. Eelgrass is also extremely important for other reasons to humans who live along the coast. It helps to stabilize the sediment and the sand along the shoreline preventing erosion, and it also helps to buffer the impacts of wave energy and storms, which we're seeing increasingly frequently these days. So another thing we're worried about is the effect of green crabs on the local crab communities. Uh, we're seeing, especially here in Madiket Harbor, sometimes on our seining trips with the Mariah Mitchell Marine Ecology field trips, we are catching more green crabs sometimes than all of the local species combined. And uh, we're seeing that green crabs are, um, you know, how competing local crabs like spider crabs and lady crabs and black fingered mud crabs for food. Um, for example, they're eating juvenile shellfish uh, like, like soft shell clams and uh, bay scallops, which ordinarily are a large part of the diet of uh, black fingered mud crabs. So there's direct competition there. Um, and between eating the food of all of our native crabs and not being eaten themselves by other predators, um, they have this huge opportunity to reproduce more or less unchecked here on Nantucket, uh, which is a big concern here on the island where we need a biodiverse community of crabs that are you know, cleaning our oceans, eating debris and scavenging. We're very concerned about green crabs. As far back as the 1960s, the green crabs have been cited as the major predator of bay scallops in Connecticut, Long Island, Cape Cod, and the islands. Green crabs are particularly damaging to juvenile bay scallops, sometimes causing up to 100% mortalities. So yes, green crabs can decimate bay scallop populations. For example, in 1986, Steve Tettelbach in his doctoral dissertation reported that uh, green crabs caused up to 70% mortalities in the Peconic Base of Long Island. Bay scallops are sensitive or particularly susceptible to crab predation for the following reasons. First, they don't bury themselves in the sediment. Secondly, their shells are very brittle. And third, they have a permanent gap between their shells, which makes them very vulnerable to predation at all times. Green crabs continue to threaten marine resources, but members of the community are taking action. This is Carl Scholem pulling up one of his crab traps. Clara, what are you hoping to do with these crabs? Just eliminate them. <laughs> Basically, because... While these efforts are fantastic, we need more help. Join the Mariah Mitchell Association and the Nantucket Land Council for Nantucket Green Crab Week from August 10th through August 14th, 2020. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about green crabs. To get involved, visit the Mariah Mitchell Association and the Nantucket Land Council websites to see the event schedule, sign up for events, and watch videos.